you've got a great backup strategy. You've got Time Machine, an off-site clone, and all your important but not sensitive files are uploaded to the cloud on someone else's servers. Then disaster strikes. A fire takes out your family iMac and your Time Machine and all the irreplaceable photos of your kids and your life together. You have backups though, so you don't worry much until you remember all the photos you scanned. The ones that are now ashes were still sitting in a folder waiting to be added to your online library. But off-site, <laughs> you rush out, you grab the drive, come home, plug it in, and disk error. You try everything you can to get it to mount, but it's useless. Finally, you try data recovery, and then you remember, you encrypted the drive. There is no way to recover anything. You've got a terrific backup strategy. You've got a time capsule. You make a clone and everything gets automatically uploaded to the cloud. Then disaster strikes. There's a break in and your MacBook and all your drives are stolen. You have an online backup though, so you don't worry much until you remember all the photos you stored on that drive. Photos you would never, not ever want anybody else to see. But they must be safe because there must be a login or something, right? Right? You try to put it out of your mind until sometime later, you're browsing that subreddit, click on a pic, and your face ghosts. It's you. All of you. <laughs> I'm Rene Ritchie. Welcome back to Vector. And on today's show, I want to talk about backups and whether you should or shouldn't, or maybe when you should or shouldn't encrypt them. Let's go. In the course of learning about how to protect my own backups, I wanted to make sure I was doing it right. So I reached out to a few people I know who either work making backup software or work in IT and make a lot of backups. I wanted to know what was the best way to do it. Just encrypt the drive and then start the backup? Or was there more to it than that? The answer I got was, in some cases, there was slightly more to it. A lot more, which is what I expected. Then I got something I didn't expect a recommendation to never encrypt my backups. Now, I'm not paranoid, but my thinking for the last few years has been encrypt everything. I was surprised anyone in today's environment would suggest otherwise. <laughs> so I asked why. The case for unencrypted backups. For some people, the ability to recover data is the most important thing. Whether that data consists of old family and baby pictures, tax returns or business records, novels written or old pop email exchanged, it's a treasured possession and any loss would be heart-wrenching or legally troubling. In a perfectly backed up world, it wouldn't be a concern. Everything would be copied multiple times, both in the real world and up on the cloud, and the data would be safe against anything short of planet-wide catastrophe. But the world, especially the backed up world, is seldom perfect. Backup routines falter, drives fail, and not everyone is comfortable putting everything on someone else's servers. It's possible that at some point you'll find you need something and that something will only exist on a drive or drives that have failed. If those drives are unencrypted, you'll have several options for getting the data, including ultra expensive recovery services, should what you need be valuable enough to you that you consider them. If those drives are encrypted though, the only thing you'll be able to recover is some metal for recycling. Data loss is what many experts in the backup business will tell you they see far more often than data theft. And because of that, you're better off skipping encryption entirely and setting yourself up to fail safe rather than secure. The case for encrypted backups. For some people, the ability to protect data is the most important thing. Whether that data consists of personal and intimate photos and videos, private business records, code written or files from clients, it's an incredible responsibility and any leak would be embarrassing and potentially career ending or legally problematic. In an ideal backup situation, it would never be a problem. Everything would be locked down locally and on the cloud, and every bit of data would be secure against anything short of the rise of the machines. But problems, especially backed up ones, aren't always ideal. Hackers, spear fishers, con people, thieves, and other bad actors are out there, and once something exists, there's potential for your system to be compromised and a drive containing your data to be stolen. If those drives are encrypted, there's a likelihood your data will still be safe. Those without the time and resources of a nation state might effectively be unable to extract anything useful 
whatsoever. If those drives were unencrypted, on the other hand, your data would be easy pickings. Data theft is what many information security experts will tell you is the growing threat. And because of that, you're better off encrypting everything and making sure if anything fails, it fails secure rather than safe. To encrypt or not to encrypt? That is the question. Simplifying it again takes some introspection. Ultimately, is your enemy human or a machine? What concerns you more, a drive failing or the contents of that drive getting out? If someone broke into your house, are the physical items and files they could steal much more valuable and sensitive than what's on your computer? If someone got a hold of your backups, is what they'd find their relationship or career ending? Those are the types of questions you have to ask yourself before deciding if encrypted backups are the way to go for you. And there are no right or wrong answers. The only right and wrong answers are for you and your family. Once you make a choice, regardless of which choice you make, try not to second guess it. Also, try to never make someone else feel guilty for the choices they make. When you're left with a broken or stolen drive, it's easy to blame yourself and others. Hindsight isn't 2020. It's devastating. If you fear having your data lost, back it up safe. If you fear having your data stolen, back it up secure. Personally, I'm of the encrypt everything mindset, but that's a product of my life and my data. Your life and your data might dictate a very different mindset. The important thing is that you back up anything and everything it would hurt you to lose and consider carefully anything that would hurt you if lost. Then make a plan that's easy to stick to and stick to it. Now, I realize all of this stuff, things like encryption and algorithms are super complicated, but if you're interested in them, then check out Brilliant, a problem-solving website that teaches you to think like a computer scientist. Instead of passively listening to lectures, you get to master concepts by solving fun and challenging problems, and Brilliant provides the tools and the frameworks you need to tackle those challenges. Brilliant's thought-provoking content based around breaking up complexities into bite-sized, understandable chunks will lead you from curiosity to mastery. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> Thanks, Brilliant. So again, I'm from the time and place where I just want to encrypt everything. And that was my default. And I couldn't believe anyone could possibly have a different opinion. Then I spoke to some people who are experts in backups and they changed my worldview. I still think the choice I have is the right one for me, but I'm no longer gonna tell everybody what is right for them. You really have to take in all the information and then decide for yourselves. So now I wanna hear from you. Have you thought of fail safe versus fail secure? Are you encrypting? all of your backups? Are you leaving some of them unencrypted? Are you leaving all of them unencrypted? Hit like, hit subscribe, and then let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.